we are going to finish this raised bed that I've built for Noel. Um, and I am I'm vacuuming my neighbor's lawn because I want the leaves from there to go in that bed first so that we've got some really, really good organic material before I put this awesome garden soil on top of it. This new raised bed has been quite the challenge. Uh, I have built this for Noel to grow her herbs in. Noel makes a lot of different products from the herbs that she grows. Uh, she grows calendula, echinacea, um, a lot of different products. And I wanted her to have a really nice space to grow that in. It's been quite the challenge building this because it is such a custom job. The very front of it is 16 feet long, and that was a single run. Every other piece is very much custom. There's um, Every board had to be cut. There was nothing standard about it except for the very front of it. There's 30-inch pieces. There's 8-foot, eight 8-inch eight pieces. Um, it's a very odd shape. But we managed. So what I'm doing here is adding the compost that I got from a local landscaper. First I put in the leaves that I got from my neighbor's yard. And now we are adding this compost material. The leaves are for the worms. We want to make sure there's plenty of organic material for the worms to consume and do their part. And then we're going to top it off with this great gardening soil that we got from the local landscaper. If you have a local landscaper that makes their own compost, I highly recommend that you develop a relationship with them. They're great to work with. Our local landscaper makes about six acres of uh, compost at a time. It's so nice to be able to just go over there with my truck and pick up a load if I need it. Or if I need more than that, I can simply call Wesley and ask him to drop six yards in the driveway. So here's the finished product. Um, I've already transplanted our rosemary in there and it is ready for Noelle to do whatever it is that she needs to do with that bed to grow her herbs for her um, all the products that she creates. Happy Thanksgiving. We had a pretty heavy frost uh, two days ago and it really did a number on the turmeric so it's time to get it dug up it's early on Thanksgiving Day we haven't put the turkey in yet so we figured we'd get out here we'll get the turmeric harvested and uh, and then we'll start working on Thanksgiving dinner about two years ago our neighbor gave us one single turmeric rhizome and uh, we'd never grown turmeric before. So Noel stuck it in the ground in a raised bed out front and we grew it. Um, it took a long time for that turmeric to grow, but we got a harvest off of it. And I believe that first year she harvested right about, um, about three pounds. Um, no, the first year it was about five pounds off of a single rhizome. She had some really good soil, great sun exposure, um, and it was uh, it was really cool to grow that turmeric. We planted turmeric again last year from the rhizomes we saved from the first year, and we just struggled. We had a really cool spring. It stayed extremely cool for our area all the way up until about June and um, we think that had a really big impact on the turmeric last year so we didn't get much of a harvest but she planted it again this year um, in a small raised bed up there by the fence and here is here is the harvest we uh, we just kept digging and digging. This particular area did not get the best sun exposure. It was shaded in the morning, but it had really good sun in the afternoon. 
and the plants were absolutely beautiful. They got about three and a half, four feet tall, and uh, they were real producers. I think they might have been a little bit crowded, um, and I think they might have been shading each other just because of the location. But you can see we had a nice harvest of turmeric. They're beautiful rhizomes. Here's Noelle. She is uh, giving it the final weigh-in. Um, we've got a, a scale over there, and, and she just kept loading it up and loading it up. You're going to see here in just a minute just how much turmeric was on that scale. We were super surprised. Um, seems like we stood out there for about an hour just washing the dirt off of it. Something interesting about turmeric is it has a lot of roots and it holds a lot of soil. Unlike ginger, ginger has a good bit of roots, but it doesn't hold the soil the same way turmeric does. So here is the final harvest. Um, actually, this is from the backyard. It's 13 pounds. Then we harvested some more from the front yard.